Hello bunnies and welcome back or to Woodland Bunnies. So if you have watched my birthday book haul you would have seen that I purchased the Frugal Wizards Handbook for Surviving Medieval England by Brandon Sanderson and I said I think that this would be my first ever Brandon Sanderson book because I really was intrigued by the concept. I know that it's one of the secret project books and I hadn't heard that that much about it but I was just really in the mood for like a wizardy light-hearted read which I feel like this encapsulates that but I know that Tress of the Emerald Sea is one of the best places to start according to the hype and I know that I think is the first book in the Secret Projects um, series type of thing. I don't think that in any way connected, I just think it's just a collection of books that are the Secret Project of Brandon Sanderson. Um, so I was really, really debating buying Trust of the Emerald Sea, but I was like, no, I've bought so many books, um, that's just not so I didn't have any more uh, book pouches left. But then I was browsing my local bookstore and I can't help but not support them every time I stumbled in and I was so shocked and surprised to find the Tress of the Emerald Sea upon their bookshelves and so I just had to get it. I just had to get it and I was so excited to find it. So I decided that I'm going to be beginning with my first little Brandon Sanderson and it is indeed going to be Tress of the Emerald Sea and I wanted to vlog it with you to see if I personally think it's worth the hype and whether you should read it too. So friends, grab yourself a warming hot drink of your favourite choice, a cosy blanket, and let's get to reading Chess of the Emerald Sea. <laughs> pages into the trust of the emerald sea and i'm absolutely loving it i'm loving the narration style and the way in which the there's almost like two like a dual uh, story perspective going on here um and yeah i'm just loving it i'm loving the interaction with that narration style and just going along these two kind of continuous stories um we're still getting introduced to a lot of the world and a lot of new characters have come up um and yeah i'm just loving it so very much it feels like a very interactive story and in one in which you can just fully immerse yourself into because you've got the ongoing major story going on and then this kind of side narration style story going on as well which is just so much fun and I've never read anything quite similar to this um so I'm having a really really fun time I'm gonna continue reading it the chapters are so short so they're so addictive because I think like a chapter is five or six pages and it just flies by um and yeah just so much fun absolutely recommend this one so far but going to continue reading and will continue to update my thoughts through it
So now it's a bit later on Sunday and I am 210 pages through Tress of the Emerald Sea and still absolutely loving it. I'm still really adoring the narration style and all of the characters we've been introduced. There is still a little bit of a plot to go before all of this is resolved and it feels very low stakes despite it feeling and seeming like a high stakes world and a really in-depth concept and world building and story development but it just genuinely feels low stakes. I'm not quite sure how to explain it but it's so much fun and just so easy to get to grips with and read and like I said before in my update the chapters are so short so it's just so gripping and mesmerizing and keeps you hooked makes you want to read more because the chapters are so short um yeah it's just so much fun I'm having a great time with it I'm going to continue reading through and I'll see how much I get read tonight and I will continue to update you as I do so I have finished Tress or the Emerald Sea and I'm rating it four stars. I loved the narration style on this tool POV and I loved how there was mystery wrapped in it. The plot twist I was not expecting whatsoever. It actually caught me off guard and I feel like if you had been like really looking for something you probably would have guessed it but I was just there for such a joyous ride and so it was just a really delight to have that plot twist thrown in. Um, the ending was a little bit confusing for me in terms of how it resolved and how we got to that point but again I was just really enjoying my time there and the writing was just so captivating, so immersive. Like I mentioned in one of my updates the chapters were so short so you just wanted to keep reading and wanted to keep diving into this world and it felt very low stakes despite being so well built out and crafted and so many characters and the themes I would use to describe this include friendship, pirates, mythical creatures, um, there was romance in here as well and yeah just kind of a girl finding herself and um, a really really intriguing narration style and different way of storytelling so I highly recommend this book to you if you haven't yet read it and I definitely agree with the hype on this book so friends thank you ever so much for joining me on this adventure and I hope wherever you are and whatever you're doing you have a wonderful day or night and until next time friends bye